Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back. Tower God season two, episode four. Uh last time. Quick recap. Um Veal in love. They banging it out in the bath right now. You got Veal doing the whole spin thing across the water. Um <laughs> You had that going on, and you have the untrustworthy room game that's happening. Um Tower of Confusing Rules. Um and so that's happening. People are trying to recruit each other for their different rooms and whatnot. And we have ourselves currently embroiled in a murder mystery with Rob Devil being murdered by somebody. And we don't know who. We had these random people show up. And um, and yeah, I think um, our group is like trying to make sure they get around Veal because they know that Veal is trying to. The, well, they're trying to get everything done before Veal comes and, like, snuffs them out. Because I think how it was set up was Veal needed... If he beat Love, then he would have been able to do whatever he wanted to do there originally. There we go. So, let's hop in. Episode 4, let's go. Okay, love. Hmm. Music's always good. that 10 what Terrible. Plot twist. <laughs> All right. Rob Devil, got to remember Rob Devil's the the right arm of the devil. That was his nickname and he beat up hots too. <clears throat> Oh no. Of course you put the opening in right there. Of course you put the opening in right there. You try to make me vibe out while stuff is going down. It's still weird to watch openings. <laughs> so used to not watching them. I'm excited to see what the um updates are going to be in the end credits.
Okay. Okay, okay. Who? Okay. No way you beat this old woman up. That's crazy. That's sick. It's tough. Music. Bro, you're you're a piece of trash, yo. That's crazy. That's nasty, bro. That's gross. God! Ha! <laughs> Damn. Body blowed the hell out of him. <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. Okay, the flying disc. Ooh. 
Ooh. The sound effects on his bombs are crazy. <laughs> I know when I noticed it when he first threw it at the beginning of the episode. But I don't know. That's a good question. Prince's body little. <laughs> I hate him, bro. I hate him. Damn. I wonder if that's something they're going to um, continue to do, where his effects are a little bit different than everyone else's. You turn the episode off, Prince? I was about to say. Rock them. Music's going crazy. <laughs> beat, beat, beat his ass. <laughs>
Shut him up. Somebody stomp him. Stomp this guy's nuts. Keep stomping him. That's what everyone tells me when I stop reading. Anytime I pause for more than five seconds, I get told to keep reading. Keep climbing. I would have violated this dude. I have to fix my face. Ah. Okay. <laughs>
I need the soundtrack like now for this season. All right. Do, 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 do. I will get we'll get different outfits. I don't think we'll get all of them though. That's the thing. So I would like to know when um I'd like to know what um what's his face? How they choose which outfits they're going to use. I would assume for like the big arcs they would change their clothes. So I'm I'm so for the Zigena, they're definitely going to change their clothes because that makes sense because it feels like it's going to the Zigena is probably going to feel like our beach episode in a sense, right? Because it's going to be outside. It's going to be shiny, all that good stuff. But um, I think when we get to workshop battle, it would make sense for clothes to change. But they, they probably won't change as often as they did. Um, That just makes sense to me. And plus in the opening, we see Bomb in his blue shirt. So I would guess for Zigena clothes change and then for a workshop battle we'll be back in what we're wearing right now so i think for bomb for veal <laughs> for veal um for veal um he's gonna at least change clothes so he'll have three outfits this season um Three outfits. He has the cloak, then his workshop battle fit, and then the Zigena fit. So that's what that's gonna be this season. Everyone else will probably have one. Kuhn will have three. It's it's more than it's more it's more outfits at than any other series that I can think of. But it's less than the actual source material. But um Kuhn, will have, Kuhn should have three too, no? Because we're going to have him in this white shirt and black pants, and then we've seen him in the bleach outfits. And then for the end, he'll be in something else, no? Uh, yes, that should be the next episode or two. I think so. But, um, so, so I think our characters will have two or three, not like five or six, like how, like it usually um like how we usually would be used to in the source material um the 100 percent was shifting um but yeah i i enjoyed this episode um i would have liked a little bit more from the the fisticuffs right but i liked a little bit more it moved it went that went really quick that one was really quick um and they handled the nia thing in a, in a way that i didn't think they would handle it because I think whenever I thought about the Nia scene being animated, I was like, I don't think we ever have to see. We, n I feel like I was like, we never have to see what happens. And they actually kind of showed us a little bit, which I didn't expect. I thought it would have just been a bunch of grunts and sound effects from the phone. But they, 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 they showed us some, which I didn't expect. Um, I wonder how, for me, like the Nia thing was... So I'd, I'd have to go back and actually watch the stream to see how I felt. I remember it was like, whoa, that was crazy. 